At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So I am with Catalia and Sarah, and we are gonna go out and we're gonna see what kind of snakes and critters that we can find around here in, where are we? In Texas. We're, the, we're, the woodlands. The woodlands of Texas. Dun, dun, dun. That sounds like a horror story. I like that. Uh -oh. Anyway, so guys, funny. come with us and let's go see what kind of critters we can find here in Texas. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. Holy crap, it's the rapture. So these guys are going through all the riprap here. Well, I just kind of walked right through this nice little easy path here. Chivalry is dead. Let's see the damage. Herper legs. Oh, you've got herper legs. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's mud. I thought it was a bruise. <laughs> that could that be was, a bruise. That was fast. All right, I how do you feel? Pouring sweat, and I almost fell into the water. Well, see? Now you're a herper. Yeah. Awesome. And I have a sweat mustache. Oh, my God. Are you okay? You got it? I'm just going to stand oh. here and film you instead of help. Oh. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I just didn't expect that to happen. Oh, suck full. Did you fall into stickers? Oh, no, I didn't. You okay? Yeah, that was a wonderful landing. Oh, oh fantastic. That, and you're still filming it. Nice. Look at that beauty. That is a copperhead. Is this a... Uh, so that is, it's actually a southern, or what was once known as a southern copperhead. See the, um, the hourglass shapes? Yeah. So this is not a broad-banded copperhead, this is a southern copperhead. Oh, what first, a beauty. First find. First snake of the day. He's skinny. That is him. awesome. No, we'll just kind of help them along the road and Add a snake but look at that. Needed, so. yeah, look at that down. pattern. That is a gorgeous pattern. You still got a little bit of a green tail. Yeah, youngster. Yeah. Yeah, judging by his size, he's probably only a couple years old. Oh, just gorgeous. Yeah, he's pretty. Awesome. First snake of the night. Love copperheads. Yeah, me too. I knew a copperhead would be our first one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so first snake. How do you feel about that? You guys mind Grand. Yeah. Grand, Maybe awesome. Hook him a little and get a photo if he's going to yeah. cooperate. Yeah, if he'll cooperate. Much, <coughs> I got a bug oh, <coughs> down my throat. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Little... Let him go on his way. We'll Hopefully, we'll find another one. Yeah. Oh, so awesome, guys. I Here we go. I got another snake here. And that is another copperhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be, but... Yeah, but it's a... You know what? You can never find enough copperheads. Look. Yeah. 
All right, well, if you're just gonna go, we'll see you later, buddy. Is that the same one? No, no. uh-uh, this it's one's like, much smaller. Oh, and it's fatter. Yeah. yeah, and and the other one had the hourglasses that weren't connecting. Yeah. This one does, so. All right, buddy. Bye. See ya. So two copperheads, not too bad. So Kat and Sarah are vending the Herbs Conroe Expo tomorrow. So I just dropped them off at the hotel. They need to get some sleep before the expo tomorrow. I'm not vending, so I get to sleep in. So right now I'm gonna head down to Houston to go herping with a couple of great herpers, Johnny Rosenbaum and Annika Redford. And they told me they know where some monster sized water snakes are. So I'm driving down to Houston right now. Hopefully we can find some of these monsters. <laughs> There's a lean belly right there. Go for it, dude. Oh, there it goes. Keep the lights on the water. Right here. Yep. Oh, yeah, there he is. No, that's another one. That's a different one. Oh, thank you. Sorry. That's oh, a different one. That's a big one. All right. Look at that big dude. That is a big plain belly. You can totally see why people mistake these for cotton mouths. That is a good cotton mouth mimic right there. Dave, you want to release it, man? Sure do. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go down here. All right, buddy. Back to the swamp. Or back or up. Or back maybe. up away from the swamp. You know what? Wherever you want to go, dude. I mean, seriously. You know, we're all friends here. <laughs> Did he get you? Ow! <laughs> he, just, he just bit me. Oh, man, what a beauty. All right. One, two, three, go. There you go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Oh man, look at that aftermath. That was that was just a little nip too. Mm-hmm. Look at how much blood is from that nip. Anticoagulants. Yeah, so water snakes have an anticoagulant in their saliva, and just a little nip is making me bleed like a stuck. It looks like you got bit by a retake. Yeah, it does. <laughs> kind of stings a little, but well, that's what herpin's all about right there. Let's go find another one. Look at that thing, that's insanely huge. Oh, it just ate too. What, what did it eat, a horse? I don't know, oh, shit. but his belly's full. It's Look so broken at that. too. Look at that mottled pattern he's got. Yeah, it's a pretty one. That is a sizable and beautiful bullfrog. And a talkative one. Yeah. Dude, everything is bigger in Texas. Oh, see you, buddy. Have a nice day. There, 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 there. That's the frog. Snakes over here. There he is, there he is. You got him? Yep, yep, yep. I got my hands oh, on him. Look at that. Shit, he's in the thing, Dave. He's in the thing. He's right here. Oh my god. Carefully get him out. Don't like don't hurt him. Oh my female. god, look at that monster. Here. <laughs> Somebody hold this like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, there, here we go, go, go here we go. Here we go. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Don't look do at it. that. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's gonna give me right in the underarm. That is a big old plain belly. Look at that. That's a massive. That's got to be a, almost a five footer. There you go. At first it was dragging. It looked like it was a dragon. Man, you grow these guys big in Texas. Woo! Oh, what a beauty. These are some of the biggest plain bellies I've ever seen. Good catch, man. Thank you. I can't believe we actually found it after it hit the water. Look at that big arrowhead shaped head. That is a good looking snake. Put my hand under it for a size right over here. Wow. That is one of the biggest water snakes I've seen. All right, rattlers, take a look at this monster. This is a monster plain belly water snake. Usually they are really aggressive and really bitey. But if you handle them just real gently like this and hold them mid body so that you don't hurt his spine, He's not going to see you as a threat, but he's not going to know what to make out of you. But he's certainly not going to be very aggressive. Look at those rapid tongue flicks. When a snake has rapid tongue flicks like that, that means that he's really kind of agitated. He's not sure what's going on. But for a water snake, which are generally kind of 
really snappy, bitey, bite first, ask questions later. Man, this guy is really calm. Look at that plain belly. That's where he gets his name from. This is a plain belly water snake or a yellow belly water snake in some locales. But man, this is the biggest water snake I think I've ever seen. Oh man, woo! All right, let's gently let him go. For sure. All right, buddy, go on back. Oh, he just nailed me. Oh man. Oh, beauty. Let's see if we can get... Ow, oh, God sorry, damn it. Oh, <laughs> ow, ow, you little butt munch. It is nice being the one not getting bit for once. Oh, dude, that kind of that that kind of that kind of stings. Here, man, I gotta take one with you. All right. Ooh. Oh, dude. All right, he's getting really agitated. Let's not harass him too much longer. Whoa. You see those teeth? Yeah, I know. Those are some formidable teeth in that guy. You guys ready? All ready? Right, there you go. Let him go. Yo, all right, we're gonna let you go, buddy. See you, buddy. And away he goes. And reach. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Woo! Oh, dude, high five. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. Dude, I can't believe we caught that. Woo, that was a big guy. Oh, look at that. I've got herper hands. Oh, man, that is a nasty bite. That anticoagulant in their saliva, man, that just... That just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. Look at that, and then look at my other hand. Yeah, those are herper hands. That's a badge of honor right there. Whew, sweet. All right, Rattlers, so it's about four o'clock in the morning. Sun's gonna come up in about an hour or so, and I need to go back to the hotel and grab some sleep before I need to be at the Herps Conroe Expo so I don't really miss much. I'm gonna be dragging it tomorrow, but man, herping all night like this and finding those monster water snakes like that, it's a good kind of dragging it. So anyway, I wanna thank Catalia, I wanna thank Sarah Gregory, I wanna thank Johnny Rosenbaum and Annika Redford for taking me out tonight and showing me some really authentic Texas herping. So again, I gotta go back to the hotel, grab a couple of hours of sleep, grab some coffee, head off to Herps Conroe Expo. So until the next adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.